Good morning, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog. Um, today, Lou and I are off to Ikea. We have been meaning to go for a while, a couple of reasons. First of all, in my office, or like I call it an office, but I don't really, I end up like sitting here with my laptop, so it's a bit of a wasted room at the moment. Um, but in that room, I um, basically need some storage. And so Lou and I have decided it might be a good idea to get some Pax wardrobes fitted, not fitted, but Pax wardrobes to one side, like down one side of the room. If you don't know what Pax wardrobes are, they're Ikea wardrobes that you can kind of design to suit what you want. So you can get, I think they come in a meter or like 50 centimeter sections and then you can add drawers you can add rails you can add like pull out things like things racks for jeans or trousers you can have kind of what you want so i've got about i think there's about a two and a half meter section before the radiator that i thought i would get some pax wardrobes in there um and just be really useful for storage so that's what that is the first reason we want to go um, and then the second reason is because I want to get some chests of drawers for the spare room. We are nearly finished in there, we've got a carpet down. Did I show you it when we had the carpet down? Not sure if I did. Anyway, I'll show you in that moment because the carpet's down. We've got a bed in there now, we've got a new bed in there which looks lovely, so I'll show you that as well. Um, and I want to get a chest of drawers to go either side of the bed or like... I think maybe a chest of drawers rather than bedside tables because I feel like at least if we've got a chest of drawers either side it, it can be used as extra storage as well um, because let's face it you can never have enough storage uh, so yeah that's the plan storage for the bedroom and wardrobes for the office room um, but apart from that just gonna have a little look around I mean there's always other things you see and you need when you go to Ikea isn't there uh, but yeah anyway let me show you the spare room and how that's looking Okay, so this is how it's looking at the moment. It's pretty much an empty room apart from a bed and a few bits of storage that are in here. Like that's the radiator cover from the hallway because we are loose painting the hallway at the moment. Um, but this is our new bed that we've got in the spare room and I absolutely love it. I think it works perfectly in here. Bearing in mind, we need to get a new duvet because this one is completely flat and looks rubbish and these um, cushions haven't got covers on them either. So I need to get some cushion covers for those two, which is actually something I might get at Ikea today. Um, so yeah, they're just plain at the moment, but I thought I'd put them there just because it looks a little bit better until they've got, like it kind of adds a little bit of something to the bed until they've got covers on. But I'm really pleased with the bed. I think it looks lovely in here. We got it from Arista Living. If you haven't heard of them, they are kind of like a, Bed, they're like an online website but you can design the bed yourself so you start off by picking out like what size bed you want so we this is a double bed but you can get single um, small double king super king um, this is a double because it kind of fitted best in this room and then you pick out your fab fabric so I went for the light gray fabric but they do some different shades of gray they do pink black brown white they've got like cream they've got leather as well so they've got loads of different options and then you pick your base so this is extra storage ottoman base so it lifts up you kind of lift this bit up and then you've got loads of storage under the bed which like i said you can never have enough storage so it's super super handy having that extra space so we've got loads of bedding under there at the moment but you don't have to have the ottoman one you can get ones with like a pull out drawer with two drawers with like no no storage at all there's tons of different options um and then the headboard you choose the headboard so this style of headboard is like i think it might be called the winged one i'll leave this style linked below um but i liked these bits that came out i just thought it made it look a little bit more expensive i love the fact they kind of like curve curve down like that and i just thought it looked really nice and it's quite a tall headboard as well but again, loads of different options of headboards. They've got kind of like panelled ones. And they do also sell mattresses as well. And you could they're like the memory foam mattresses that you can get in either soft to medium, medium to firm or firm. We went for medium to firm, but, they, but it is quite a firm mattress. I'd say it's more on the firm side than medium. So if you want it a little bit softer, I would definitely recommend going for the soft to medium one and this isn't an ad but they have given me a discount code which i will pop in the description box below it is model mouth 50 and it will give you 50 percent off which is brilliant um but like i said before we are planning on getting a couple of chests of drawers so i want to put one this side of the bed and then one over there as well there's quite a lot of room over this side so i thought 
a decent kind of like decent chest of drawers either side i was looking at either the copang ones or the hemnes um and i think that they would they would work in here really well so that is what i'm hoping to get today um, but yeah, love how it looks in here, love how the carpet looks with the wall colour. I just thought I'd quickly show you my very casual outfit before we head off. So I am wearing the cosiest fleecy hoodie from Everlane. I have been wearing this so much since I've got it. It's so, so cosy. It's quite oversized. Well, I'm wearing it. I think this is a size medium, um, but I'll leave my size. I will double check and leave my size in the description box. Um, but yeah, super snug, super cosy and so easy to just chuck on. So yeah, I wanted to be cosy for a day in Ikea. Well, not a day, but a trip to Ikea. Wanted to be comfortable. Leggings are sweaty Betty. These are just fabulous leggings, honestly. Like, so impressed with these. So, so comfortable. Really nice kind of high waistband. Um, just delightful. And then I've got Adenola socks on and Adidas trainers. Um, and yeah, that is it. Very comfy, very casual. Let's head off to Ikea. I like the green kitchen. Well, I wouldn't want it, but it looks nice. I like this big chopping board as well. How much is that? 19 pounds, not that we need any more, but that is nice, isn't it? These are quite nice, do you like these? Yeah, I do like Like nice chunky. Chunky glasses. Two pound twenty-five. I guess. No, I think the things like this you have to put in a trolley. <laughs> I like that big mirror as well. It's like a bigger version of what we've got in the hallway. Ninety pounds. Yeah, I think she means the plain ones. We asked Lou's sister if she wanted anything from IKEA, considering it's about an hour's drive from where we live. Anything from IKEA at all? Do you know what she asked for? A pack of tea lights. <laughs> a pack of bloody tea lights. <laughs> they have got lots of candles over oh i think she mean oh no they're the big ones they've got lots of candles over here as well though i quite like these things and then lou's other sister wants some of these i think she wanted three Els wants three of these doesn't she yeah but i can get loads of that and there was it that bar as well no, Sean wanted a big vase, didn't she? No, they didn't send the vase. Didn't oh, did she send a vase as well? She yeah. put, sent picture frames as well. Yeah. We're just personal shoppers now, aren't we? Do you remember last time we came here, we spent ages, because we were looking for a sofa, weren't we, at the time? Sitting on and we spent ages sitting on all the sofas in here. Oh, how much fun we had. Oh, what a joy it was. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't need to do that today. We're looking for more, like, bedroom furniture and wardrobes and things, aren't we? Mm, a nice important gentleman's. I do like the chairs like with the wooden frames on, not necessarily the colour of, I don't like the dark grey, but they look nice and cream. Little living room. Oh yeah, babes. Cosy little living room. That does look cosy, doesn't it? Like you could just sit down there, pop the fire on. Where's the TV? <laughs> That's the thing with interior design. Everything always looks nice when there's no big TV on the wall. And these little bookshelves are cute. What are they? What are those ones? They're the Horga or Hoga cabinet with two doors. All of the armchairs. These are handy little tables for £20, like with a nice little tray and candles on top. Shall I send Mum a picture of this console table in case she likes it? Oh, it says I'm currently out of stock on it. My mum wanted a console table, but they didn't have many online. They, they didn't have that one online, although I'm not sure if that's what she's looking for. And I know that Mum also wants a new sofa, so I will have a quick look. If there's any nice ones, I'll get some pictures of them. I quite like that one up there. Well, the yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Five nine nine. I mean, why don't you climb up there and sit on it, see if it's comfy? <laughs> huh? Yeah, it is. It's a nice fabric. It's five nine nine. Oh, for the bed frame and the cover, it's five nine nine in total. But it looks nice and um, comfortable. And then they've got this one over here as well, which I know she's looking for this kind of colour, 
but I think the arms on that don't look very comfortable, do they? They look a bit narrow. These shelves are brilliant. They look very similar to what we've got in our yeah, kitchen. No, no, I and I quite, yeah, they are almost identical. How much easier would it have been to have got those? It's a long they look long enough. Uh, yeah, we could have cut them down though, basically. That was the thing. Oh, okay. Anyway, I quite often get asked where the shelves in our kitchen are from. And they're not these Lou made ours by like putting by um, gluing yeah, two bits of MDF yeah. together. They won't carry much, do they? No, actually, they're a little bit hollow, aren't they? They don't feel. Oh yeah, they do. But anyway, these ones from IKEA, they're, they're called the Lac Wall Shelf, and they're 25 pounds each. And they've got a few different. That's the big size, and they've got this size for 10 pounds, which is really good. Do we need these for anywhere, Lou? Oh yeah. Um, and then they've got a glossy one for 15. Maybe just leave it on the side. <laughs> no, we didn't get these, but we got baskets that where you keep all your PlayStation stuff in, didn't we? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know if we need to get some more of them. But yeah, do we want any of these for the... Um... No, I don't know, but can you see them anywhere? No, but we'll make a note. Idiot. What room would we put them in? I don't know, mate. And you don't want to get, you don't want to get a couple of these for either side of where our TV is in the living room? What's up to you? I don't know. I always think there needs to be something on that wall either side of the TV. This is the console table we've got, not console table, this is the um, cabinet. <laughs> The cabinet that we've got in our living room. We got it's one of these. A bookcase with glass walls. Yeah, so I had this in my office and I kept all my bags in it just because I didn't know what else to do with it. But we've just moved it into our living room and I think it kind of works in there. But it is the Lear Torp and it's 299. I actually quite like the plain, um, the Lear Torp with, with just the glass doors as well. But I believe in colouring the world Gotta holler to be heard in time We can fight back ready to Having a little peek in another room See I wondered whether or not we need some of these glass jars as well Lou For like, oh <laughs> Actually it does look a studio apartment doesn't it Literally you've got the kitchen here Bathroom through there Little living room area here And then the bedroom in here. Um, yeah, it literally looks like a little studio apartment in London. Huh? And then you've got a little bit of outside space. And then your, belt, your, uh, yeah, your little terrace. Ooh. And there's your child. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of works though, doesn't it? Yes. Do you think that we need any of these jars? Uh, we might do. Do you want some jars? I was thinking for spaghetti and pasta, I don't know which, I think we're a bit short on some. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's awfully quiet in here today, isn't it, compared to last time we came. Would you get a kitchen from Ikea? For our flat? No. No, true. But they do have some good um, worktops in here. I remember when I was looking for a pretend marble one, I saw these. This is the, I mean, I'm not even going to try and ek backen. Um, but the good thing is you can have, they're really reasonable as well, though. They're like £60 per length. I'd actually want that for the flat, I think, or something. Yeah. Actually, maybe I've overdone the marble work tops. Maybe just something plain and white. Oh, yeah, kind of forever. Yeah. Or wooden. How much are those? One twenty a length for the real wood ones. They might be quite good. I'm not keen on that work top, are you? 
these are good as like kitchen islands. If you didn't have a kitchen island and you wanted one, you've got a ready-made one for 2 dollars Don't you think? Handy if you didn't have a kitchen island and you had a small kitchen and you wanted an island. Yeah, lovely. Don't know if you'd be able to fit stools around it, but it'd be good for storage underneath. Yeah. And they come in grey and white as well. Another cosy little setup. And then we've got a teenage boy's room over here. If ever I've seen one. Or a single man's, maybe. <laughs> oh, we've even got a little coffee shop here. No fancy a little coffee in the coffee shop. I don't like coffee. No, you don't, but I could do. I think I'll take a hot chocolate. And then we've got a bike shop over here. <laughs> I mean, you name it, Ikea's got you covered. <laughs> we have just come over to the Pax wardrobe area and we're about to design a Pax wardrobe to go in my office. It's got all these little... Yeah, so Lou thinks I should have it open, but I don't want to because no, I know no, I wouldn't... No, no but you said that before, didn't you? Having a free... free 50. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it? you're halfway through because it, it says finalised, so you've already added stuff. Maybe you've picked up someone else's screen. Oh, I don't... I don't think I have. Well, someone might have been on it and then they left it, is what I'm saying. Create a new design. There we go. So you stick two of those in. I was going to go for the 50 right in the middle. We're going for the Grimo, I think they were called. Oh, yeah. EFG, there you go, Grimo. Yeah, they're nice. So you literally just add on what sections you want in each one. So that one I'd have four drawers in and the bottom shelf thing. So what have I done there? Have I just changed it? You see, why is that 125 and the other one was 155? Go back up because originally you put 150 in. Oh, that's got a jewel a case thing at the top. Oh, so that's saying like sneaking a little bit extra storage because of the bottom bin. So you've got three drawers and that. And the flat bit. And the flat bit. Right, okay. Right. Yep. Yeah? Yep, that's one done. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know why doesn't, you, know, you can't get a little jewellery on for that one there, I'd just have them all matching probably. Oh you can't get, well I can't have them all matching because if, if I want to put coats somewhere I need to put, to put them somewhere don't I? Like long coats. Yeah, and you're, have you not got a lot of wardrobe in our bedroom? Not enough space for long coats. So I don't have to put the coats, like long coats in here and just have like two here. Just two of the white, yeah like that, do you think that? Yeah if you like that. Well I don't like it, I prefer the way the other one looks. We could do the same as that into that one here. Yeah, no, I know. If I go through them all, you can see, can not you? Yep. That's going to be so much better, isn't it? And what's the double? Go to the back to the double hanging one. And you don't think that's better for... Like that? Do you think that looks better? Not looks better, but would work better. We've been sat here for about 20 minutes and I'm currently trying to decide whether or not to have these two and then that one like that so I've got more hanging space or like that with more drawer space. Ooh. I feel like we're having school dinners. No, um, we've just stopped off for some lunch. I've never had IKEA meatballs before and so we thought we'd give it a go. Lou's got, you've got a whole little tray of goodies there. What are they like? Are they any good, the meatballs? Ooh. Weirdly enough, the jam works. Yeah, I did think that when she said jam, I thought a bit like cranberry sauce, I suppose. And then a bit of dime bar cheesecake for dessert. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna dig in and see what I think. Do I have to get one of these for the kitchen shelf? I like the tone of the green, but I don't know if they look a little bit plasticky. Obviously I'd put it into a nice big pot and it kind of hangs down. They're five pounds. Anyway, Lou's gone off. Lou has got a trolley full of furniture. Sorry mate, I'm coming. <laughs> I was helping to push, oh yeah. And then this is our other trolley full of like, Everyone else's stuff. other bits and bobs. So we're going to go and pay. Hey guys, it's a few days later now and I thought I'd jump on and show some of the bits that I bought from Ikea. Um, it was quite a successful trip, although quite a few of the bits we designed, you will have seen we designed the Pax wardrobes and quite a few of the bits from those wardrobes were not available. So the doors, they didn't have any of the doors in stock. Um, quite a lot of the like little drawers that go underneath were not in stock. 
um, some of the rails, there's some bit, quite a few bits that weren't available. So we kind of got half of it, but we need to order the rest of it online and then collect that later on. I think it's, I think it's available in the next two or three weeks. Um, so that is the plan. But yeah, ended up getting quite a lot and I, I've just kind of gathered a few of the bits here um, and then I'll kind of like insert some pictures of some of the other bits as well that we got. So first of all, the cutest little vase I picked up. Obviously I've got these lovely daffodils in there which weren't from Ikea. Um, but I got this little vase, I think it was about two pounds, maybe even one pound fifty. I have just grabbed the receipt actually to have a quick look. How much was this? Oh, she sits with the longest receipt ever. Do you know what? There's one that says pad drag vase, £1.25. It may have been that one. If so, what a bargain. I just think it's so pretty. Love like the rib style of it. And I think it looks gorgeous with this little bunch of daffodils in there. Um, I then also picked up a few of these. Now you may have seen these in the vlog. I ended up getting three of these for Lou's sister. They're just kind of like little eucalyptus stems. And she asked me to get three for her. And when I was getting them, I just grabbed a couple for myself because I've got a bunch of flowers up there from the White Company that I think I've shown you in a previous vlog. Um, and they kind of splay out quite a lot. So they look a little bit sparse or so they needed filling out a little bit. So I thought I would grab a couple of these just to fill that bunch out. And I think that these were... I think that they were three pound a bunch no four pound a bunch i believe i think they were four pound each not bunch but like per stem like this four pounds so i got a couple of them um these were just like the really not boring but you know like the little random bits that i picked up um so i got another little octopus already got one of these but they're just so handy for drying socks on especially in the summer when you can kind of like pin like hang them on the line clip all your socks on they're just really handy and they're quite like sturdy as well and I think that's about three or four pounds. I know I keep saying I think but I did get the receipt, I brought the receipt with me so I could kind of go through, oh yeah three pound fifty that was, um, but it's quite a long receipt so not the easiest to find each thing on. Um, I also got some cushion covers but stupidly I got 50 by 50 which is what I thought the big um, ones are on our bed, but I think that they're too small. Let me just double check. I think that what the ones we've got might be 60 by 60. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, so look, that is the size of it. So I was, I got these to go over the big cushions on the bed in, in the spare room, but you can see that they're too big, uh, too small for the big ones and too big for the small ones. I think they're like in between the cushions I've got, so that's a bit of an annoying one. But I'll find, I mean, I'll find somewhere to put them. I'll find some cushions to go, for them to go on. I'll probably pop them on the sofa, to be fair. Um, so I've got those. I also got some of these glasses as well. Again, you will have seen me vlogging these. I just thought they were really nice. They're kind of like quite a chunky glass. And we've already got, I mean, we've got loads of glasses, but quite a lot of the ones we've got are quite thin. And I'm always really conscious that like, you know, if you tap, you know when you're stacking the dishwasher, if you end up like tapping them together, they literally smash so easy. So I thought these would be a little bit more sturdy as like everyday, everyday glasses. So I got, I think I got six of those. Where's the receipt? Pretty sure I got six of those. Yeah, six of those. Um, and then, what else? Oh, another vase here that I got, which again, I think was about two or three pounds, maybe, yeah two or three pounds it was so reasonable and these were actually the ones that had the candles in at the beginning which I didn't actually realize until afterwards otherwise I probably would have got two to kind of like go either side on something with big pillar candles inside but I just thought if not this is just quite nice for like as a vase like it would look quite cute with the dafts in there or maybe like a smaller bigger bunch of flowers and you can never have too many vases can you so I thought that was just quite handy I've just popped that up on the shelf up there um, so they are all like the little bits and bobs I got that I could gather up to show you. The majority of the receipt was bits for the Pax wardrobe, which I will show you in another vlog once it's complete. I'll show you how that's all kind of looked because, like I said, lots of the drawers are missing. We haven't got the doors yet. But yeah, we got a lot of that, so it's going to make a huge difference to the storage situation in my office. It's going to be amazing to have those. Um, and then I ended up getting two copang chests of drawers i will insert a picture of the copang ones um 
was planning on getting the well I, I think i mentioned i was either going to get the hem nez or the copang they didn't have the hem nez i'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong but they didn't have those ones in stock in southampton where we went so um i thought we wanted them on the day so we just went ended up going with the copang ones which are so similar less expensive probably not as like I guess the Hemlens ones are slightly better quality, but actually I, I don't think you could really tell the difference in store. They both seemed really great, smooth running and things like that. So again, I'll show you those once they're in the bedroom and styled up and stuff. I just want to get, like obviously you saw the bedroom at the beginning of this vlog, but I want to kind of get a chest of drawers either side, style them up and make it feel all kind of like cozy and bedroomy vibes in there. Um, and I will show you that when it's finished. And then apart, of that, apart from that, a lot of the stuff we ended up getting was bits for family that they'd asked to get because um, IKEA is not very close to where we live. So kind of when you go, you end up getting bits for other people as well. Um, oh, and we also got a rug by the front door as well and a cutaway of that as well. It's like a, um, one of the jute rugs. Um, not a rug. I mean, we've got it as a mat, but it's kind of like you know, that jute fabric because it just looks nicer than having like a proper mat by the front door. Um, so we got one of those and I think that was £30, I believe, or maybe 35 And then I also got one of those for my mum as well. I got her a doormat. I got her some other bits and bobs. Um, got vases for Lou's sisters. And yeah, that was about it. Um, but yeah, quite a successful trip. And obviously we'll definitely be going back in the next few weeks at some point to pick up the rest of the bits for the um, Pax wardrobe. Uh, but I think I'm gonna finish off this video here. If you've got any questions about anything regarding like IKEA or, I mean, any questions at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.